तो नो एट टाइम जीरो प्रोसेस पी वन पी टू कहते हैं रिवर्स टाइम ऑफ थ्री एंड वन तो पी थ्री इज हाइयर प्रायोरिटी सो वी आर गिवन अ टाइम फॉर पी वन एट टाइम थ्री पी थ्री इज अराइव द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ थ्री हुज प्रायोरिटी इज इक्वल टू प्रोसेस पी वन सो वी डिन सस्पेंड दैट एट टाइम फाइव सो पी फोर इज अराइव द फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ फोर सो हुज प्रायोरिटी इज हायर देन द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ पी वन सो वी वन टू सस्पेंड पी वन ओके नाउ फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ पी फोर इज वन सो फाइव प्लस वन इट विल बी सिक्स सो बाई दिस टाइम पी फाइव हैज नॉट एट अराइव सो वी आर हैविंग प्रोसेस पी वन लेफ्ट विद फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ फाइव एंड प्रायोरिटी ऑफ थ्री पी टू विद फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ वन एंड प्रायोरिटी एज वन पी थ्री विद फर्स्ट टाइम ऑफ टू एंड प्रायोरिटी एज थ्री ओके नाउ वी कैन सी पी वन एंड पी थ्री इज हैविंग हाई अप्रायोरिटी बट पी वन एंड पी थ्री बोथ आर इक्वल सो वी आर गोइंग टू टेक फर्स्ट कम फर्स्ट सर्व सो दैट सिक्स प्लस फाइव इलेवन नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू चूज पी थ्री ओके सो इलेवन प्लस टू टू बी थर्टीन ओके बाय दिस टाइम थर्टीन ओके नो प्रोसेस पी फाइव हैव अराइड ओके सो बाय दिस टाइम थर्टीन प्रोसेस पी फाइव हैव अराइड ओके नो विथ प्रायोरिटी ऑफ टू विच इज हायर देन द प्रायोरिटी ऑफ योर पी टू सो वी आर गिविंग अ चांस फॉर पी फाइव सो विच इज हैविंग a first time of 5 so 13 plus 5 it will be 18 next we are giving a chance to p2 so with a first time of 1 so it will be 19 okay so now to calculate waiting time okay so waiting time will be so p1 is equal to 6 minus 5 minus 0 so 6 minus of 5 already it has executed minus 0 will be One. So P two will be equal to eighteen minus zero. It will be eighteen. So P three will be equal to eleven minus of arrival time. It will be eight. So P four will be five minus of arrival time. It is zero. So P five will be thirteen minus of ten. It will be three. So average waiting time will be equal to one plus eighteen. Plus eight plus zero plus three whole divided by five that will be equal to thirty divided by five which will be equal to six. Okay, so now average waiting time will be equal to six. Okay, so similarly we are calculating turn around time. Okay, so turn around time. So P one is equal to eleven. It finished at eleven minus of summation it will be equal to Eleven. So P two has finished at nineteen. Arrived at zero. It will be nineteen. So P three is equal to thirteen minus of arrival time is equal to ten. So P four is equal to six minus of arrival time is equal to one. So P five is equal to eighty minus of ten is equal to eight. So average turn around time will be equal to eleven plus nineteen plus ten. Plus one plus eight divided by five, which will be equal to forty nine divided by five, which will be equal to nine point eight. Average turnaround time is equal to nine point eight. <coughs> Now we'll move on to new algorithm called as round robinson algorithm. So that will be used on a time sharing basis. So that means every process will be given equal. Time slot, so that we are calling it as a quantum here. So that time quantum is here, so it will be ten seconds. So that means um, that particular process has to execute within ten seconds. Okay, it will not be given the extra time. So if the remaining time is still there, it will come on get a next chance. Okay, so here, so there is no case of preemptive and non-preemptive. So they keep on coming and going according to the Time slot at time zero, so we have process P one. Okay, so whose burst time is ten? Okay, so it will execute for ten seconds. The quant time quantum is also ten seconds. Okay, so next process P two. Okay, will execute for ten seconds. So ten plus ten will be twenty. Now P two's remaining time is twenty nine minus ten. It will be nineteen. Okay, now we have process P three. Okay, so which will execute for Its burst time itself is three seconds, so it will be executing for three seconds, twenty-three seconds. Now.
now we have process b4 okay so whose birth time is 7 so 23 plus 7 will be will be 30 okay next we have process b2 okay whose uh, again we'll execute for 10 seconds so 30 plus 10 will be 40 okay again we have only process b2 left over we will again show the difference so now it has executed for 10 seconds remaining time is 9 so now it will execute for 9 seconds so 49 okay so this is how your chart will come jail chart will come okay so just calculate the waiting time and turn around time waiting time okay so for process b1 is 0 okay minus 0 is 0 so waiting time for b2 so check out the last occurrence of this 40 okay minus of 10 okay minus of 10 so two times it has got the transfer execution minus of 1 so that will be 19 okay then p3 is 20 arrival time is 2 it will be 18 okay then p4 is 23 minus of arrival time is 3 which will be equal to 20 so average waiting time will be equal to 0 plus 19 plus 18 plus 20 whole divided by 4 which is equal to 57 divided by 4 so which is equal to 14.25 so turn around time turn around time for p1 is 10 minus 0 which is 10 it finished at 10 p2 is equal to 49 okay job difference between job completion and submission so 49 minus 1 will be 48 so p3 is equal to 23 minus of 2 will be equal to 21 so p4 will be equal to 30 minus of 3 will be equal to 27 so average return around time will be equal to 10 plus 48 plus 21 plus 27 whole divided by 4 which is equal to 106 divided by 4 which is equal to 26.5 so average return around time will be equal to 26.5 Let us solve another problem. Okay, so where we have the following time and following burst time. So now the burst time is two millisecond. Quantum, I mean sorry, quantum is two millisecond. Okay, so we need to calculate your okay. So first process P1. Okay, so it will take two quantum time. So now remaining time of P1 will be 10 minus 2 to be. 8 okay so next we are giving a chance to p2 with the burst time of 1 which will be 3 next we have p3 with the burst time of 2 so 3 plus 2 will be uh, 3 plus 2 will be 5 next we have p4 with the burst time of 1 5 plus 1 will be 6 next we have p5 it will execute for 2 per second okay so 6 plus 2 will be 8 okay so next uh, now p2 p3 p4 is finished so next p5 and p1 is there so next p1 will come okay with a burst time of 2 so it will take 10 seconds so now p5 will again come okay with a burst time of 2 so 10 plus 2 is 12 okay next we have p1 again with a burst time of 2 14 next we have p5 again with a burst time of 16 i mean uh, 14 left 14 plus 2 will be 16 next p1 okay 18 next you have p5 left over with one second so it will be 19 okay so waiting time okay for p1 is equal to 16 minus of 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 0 which will be equal to 8 so 16 okay, 
ओके सिक्सटीन माइनस ऑफ टू माइनस टू सिक्सटीन इज लास्ट एक्सपीरियंस ओके माइनस टू माइनस टू वी हैव माइनस टू So here it is actually by this time your P five had not had arrived. By the time six P five had not had arrived, so it is actually P one. Okay. So sixteen minus of two minus of two minus of two minus of two. It will be eight. So like this P two is equal to two minus zero plus two. So we have P three which is equal to 